My name is Sohaila Esfahani. I'm an artist from Kitchener Waterloo. And this piece is called Cultured Palette KW, referring to Kitchener Waterloo. I started it about a year ago of looking into a more ephemeral project, a project that also lives beyond the exhibition time of a particular exhibition. So what I've been doing is marking palettes, shipping palettes with email addresses and also various designs that I find. And then once the exhibition over, is over, I send them back into the circulation of the skids, hoping that if people got interested, they correspond back to me and that sort of gets the project going and going. For this particular project, I looked around uh, the Kitchen Waterloo area and found various designs that I find them culturally significant, but at the same time, you could sometimes say they're just come from kitsch ideas or knickknacks. So some of the designs come from graffiti on the walls of the downtown Kitchener. Some of them come from various knickknacks sold in souvenir shops. So there, there is a variety of them, more, more finer designs mixed with more of a popular culture ideas. But what I've been interested in recently is the idea of cultural translation and looking into the idea of cultural translation from a perspective of artists such as myself that grew up in another culture but now living and working in a different culture but still bring out significance from the other culture into the new culture. And also looking into the idea of translation not in the literal meaning of one language to another but in the meaning of translation as carrying across, bringing across. So these objects become, these palettes become sort of a metaphor for that object of transfer that potentially can carry across not only objects and goods but also cultures. I definitely look at them as sort of units that are aesthetically pleasing. It's once they're stacked and they're arranged, I see them as really pleasing to the eye and, and very minimalistic kind of approach to making objects or sculptures. I think part of what I'm actually interested in that I'm doing this project right in the public is the fact that I'm getting the first hand sort of interaction with my audience. I've been getting very positive comments, people getting interested, asking me directly, what is it? Is it art? Why is it art? But at the same time, I've been getting sort of, one comment I get this morning was a lady passing by and said, Mm, interesting, it's a different kind of art. It's not my, what I call art. And then she passed by. And then what I found interesting is that she actually recognized it as a piece of art. So she did get to that level and identified it as art, but maybe not what they used to, but what, that's what I think Kafka is all about. So you get to that uncomfortable zone of why is it here and why is it called art? And hopefully that opens up that dialogue for people. And if they come to the opening or bump into the artist, we can sort of explain more what we're doing in contemporary art. To be honest, I don't think they're going to go around the world because these the skids have very particular rules. So especially wooden skids, the regulations with the beetles that are in the woods. So they're probably not going overseas. But within North America, yes, I'm hoping that maybe a couple of emails come out of the over 300 skids that I'm sending around. So over time, if I keep building up these skids and sending them around, hopefully we get more and more and people get interested.